Welcome back to Top 5 Repairs. In today's topic, I'd like to talk about why sludge is bad for your engine. If you remove the engine oil cap and you look on the inside and you see a thick, gooey, tar-like substance coating your camshaft and the, on the uh, top end of the uh, engine, that is going to be engine sludge. Engine sludge is detrimental to your engine. It can cause poor lubrication, poor oil flow. It can cause your engine to overheat. Engine sludge can clog oil passages. It can restrict oil flow going to the uh, engine bearing. For example, it can restrict engine oil going to the main bearings. It can restrict engine oil going to the camshaft bearings. And when the bearings do not get enough engine oil, it will cause increased friction and this can cause your engine to prematurely fail. If the main bearings are not properly lubricated due to engine sludge, again this will cause increased friction and the crankshaft will have a hard time rotating. And what's going to happen is your engine is going to throw a rod due to a spun bearing. If your engine is overheating and you can't figure out why, maybe you should remove the engine oil cap and look inside and to make sure you don't have a buildup of sludge inside your engine. The number one reason why you have a buildup of engine sludge inside your engine is because maybe you never replaced your PCV valve. If your PCV valve fell, it's going to cause blow by to linger around inside the uh, crankcase. And what's going to happen is that that blow by, basically that is the exhaust fume that passed through the piston ring, is going to start to contaminate the engine oil. And if you never replace the PCV valve and you hardly change your engine oil, that is going to be a recipe for disaster because now that's going to cause engine sludge. Engine sludge can affect the valve train. If you hear a loud tapping noise or ticking noise coming from the top end of the engine, that's going to be your valve train not being properly lubricated caused by engine sludge. Engine sludge can trigger the check engine light and it can also trigger the oil pressure light. If the check engine light is on, most likely you're going to get codes for a failed oil pressure sensor. The reason why the oil pressure sensor fell is because most likely the engine sludge is going to clog the oil pressure sensor. And again, this is going to trigger the check engine light and the oil pressure light. If your PCV is working fine, the next reason why you have a bit of engine oil is because maybe you never change your engine oil. If you don't change your engine oil, this is going to cause your engine oil to start to break down due to dirt, moisture, and debris. And of course, engine heat will also cause your engine oil to break down as well. Some engines are designed so poorly that they're prone to engine sludge. And there's really no solution to fix it. The only thing you can do is change your engine oil and your oil filter more often. I hope you found this lesson useful. As always, thank you for watching and subscribe to Top 5 Repairs.